Hi guys. How you doing? I got baby uh, Arthur here. I'm going to change him. He is Bubbles Kit from Claire Taylor. And he is painted and rooted by me. He is a cuddle baby. With uh, head, hands, and feet. I go ahead and change him here. I thought you might want to see him in this outfit. So I take it off. These shoes. These shoes are from the 50s. Haven't even worn. Really. Look at the insides. It's it. Been worn. I got another pair uh, that uh, they look like they were never worn, but they're bigger or bigger now. But I like these because those are cool ones. Got the leather coming from the bottom. It, the bottom is leather. It comes up and around the back, back of the heel. Okay. Yeah, that's probably easier. Just I'll leave that pillow there because then it tells me exactly where he needs to be. There we go. Let's just turn it inside out. I can fix it. I can fix the sign. He's a big boy. I made him big. I'd say he probably weighs about nine pounds. I, I weighs close to uh, Sage by Claire Taylor. My full silicone. Yeah. Excuse me. I want to make. I want him to feel real. A heavier baby to cuddle with. You know. That's why I wanted it. It is a cuddle baby, and it's, you put more stuffing and beans in him, and he's more cuddly. All righty. I'm gonna leave this on. I think, wait, I was, yeah, I can leave that on and, uh, that's one thing about color, baby, I'll just strip him all the way down to powder him. I'm going to, I want to powder him. So, probably can just, I ain't going to dress it now, I'll do it now. Okay. Always wear a mask, guys. Do my mask. It's, uh, Stephen King, it. <laughs> but yeah, always wear a mask because the uh, matting powder is very fine and you don't want to breathe it in. So, I gotta be very careful. I don't want to spill it either. A little bit goes a long ways. Because, yeah, a little bit goes a long ways. But yeah, he's he's getting a little clammy. You know, not soft like it should be. So, I thought I'd go ahead and give him a little powder.
so I just go there, 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 I pat it in. Like that. Like that, I do that all kinds of noises. I'm by myself, so I can manage with my neighbor downstairs things. <laughs> but he should know that I can't do it that often. So my thing is creeping all the time. I'm sitting in here on my bed. I'm used to spending all my time in my room while my dog Lulu was alive. That I I don't I feel comfortable just staying in my room most of the time. Yeah, I gotta say hi to the kitties. But yeah. I'm still depressed about Lulu, and I probably always will be. Like I said, she was there for my cancer treatments. Oh, yeah, the last uh, video. I think I mentioned about I got a mastectomy and then reconstruction surgery. No, it's actually surgeries. I got three reconstruction surgeries. So, yeah, because what they did to me is they took uh, some of my fat and skin from a different part of my body and made a breast out of it, basically. I could not get an implant because I had radiation. And the doctor said if I went with that that route, it'd probably fall, end up falling out. So I well, can't do that. So what I'm getting is a tram flat, they call it. They basically, I'll show it on the baby. Basically, they cut me hip to hip like that. And then they... Uh, Cut a piece out, actually the whole side, out, whole thing out, and they use half of it. And then the, the flesh, they, they leave it uh, hooked to a vein, a main vein, and they end up tunnel it underneath, underneath the skin, tunnel it, and then to the breast, which has got a hole. They open it up, wait for that thing. And then they pull it in and sew it. And hopefully the blood flows right so it doesn't die. And that's it. It might sound drastic, but I didn't want to have to go back in anyways to uh, let people have to go back in every 10 years to get a uh, replacement uh, implant thing. This way I'm done. And it gains weight because it's part of me. It gains weight and loses weight when I when I gain or lose. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. And anyways, Lulu, my doggy, she was next to me through all of that. So, you know, my kids are gone. They moved out. Okay. And then I got divorced with my ex-husband, but he ended up dying. So, well, 
much food it's been it's been over a year ago, a year and a half ago now. He passed from Crohn's disease. <clears throat> He's, he was sick with that for all his life, basically, since he was 10. So. So he had a lot of surgeries. Too. Since he had Crohn's disease. Which Crohn's disease is basically your, your guts are... Rotten, rotten, slowly dying, basically. Just in short terms, your your, your guts start to die. And his is severe. So. Got him. They got him in the end. There you go. That's pretty cute, honey. Oh, I got this hat. One thing I love, like about <clears throat> when I make, make my dolls, I ruin the stuff. If they start losing hair, whatever, and if I don't like it, whatever, I can just find more hair and, and root it again. You know, I could take this mask off now. But, yeah. Alrighty, boy. So, yeah, this is supposed to go. Part of it isn't as big of a fold on the back. So let's see. That works now. Hair pulls it constantly. But I still have some of that hair left. So I can still add more or have it, you know, if he starts getting boss spot or whatever, I can add more to him. Whatever. But here he is. Let's see what you're seeing. All right. Yep, you're seeing it. Here he is. Arthur, Arthur Santana. Yep. He feels a lot better since I powdered him. But I made him really kind of red. And he's got the purple right here. Uh, it's because he was just born. We just cleaned him off and whatever, and yeah, he's just, he's a brand new baby with a bruise on their forehead. <clears throat> That's what I made him out to look like, you know, with his eyes half open and stuff. So, I made him new. Where Frankie, she's, she's like a, oh, I'd say two month, three month old. Yeah, he's he's a new baby. Oh. There we go. Let's make sure you can pose them like that, like that, like 
and he put his thumb in his mouth. If he wants to. There he goes. There he goes. Yeah, you guys can see him. So there he is. Baby Arthur. See, I think he's cute. Anyways, that's about it, guys. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye.